Hello, it's Holly Chadwick with Project Chimps, and this is our shopping power hour for Giving Day for Apes. We had a great power hour at one o'clock, and now here live with Ali Crumpacker at the Cahuta Country Store in Blue Ridge. We are shopping for the 99 chimps. And Ali, tell me where you are right now. What, what do we see there? I'm in the Cahuta Country Store in Blue Ridge, which is just down the road from the sanctuary. And they are um, a great feed store. They have lots of stuff for livestock and, and companion animals, but they're also a supplier for our chimp chow. And chimp chow is like a granola biscuit that we give to the chimps. And they brought a whole pallet out here for you guys to see. It's, it's not uh, real sexy looking, but you can see the pallet. This is about uh, 40 bags of chow. And today, in the next hour, we're hoping to raise enough money from all of you great viewers to buy 99 bags of this chow. So more than double of this pile, right? And the chimps get this twice a day in their daily meals. They get their um, fruits and vegetables, of course, their seeds, their nuts, and all of their fun snacks. But their chow has all of the nutrition and the vitamins, the essential oils that they need to have their you know great healthy um, hair and keep all of their bones and their skin, their teeth, all of that. So they get the chow in uh, different quantities and that's based on their weight. So bigger uh, chimps might get more chow, then our chimps might get less chow, or if we're trying to do their weight management, then we can move their, cow, their chow counts up and down. So it's really important that we have a lot of chow all the time in stock. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, Holly, right? Like we're gonna raise enough money to buy 99 bags of chow. And Ooh. each of those bags out there costs $19.99. But to simplify the math, we're going to round that up to a $20 mark. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we can do. During this power hour, it's really important that you help us raise the funds in small increments. So we're hoping that even if you've donated earlier and you're tuning in, you might consider making another donation right now. So for every $9 donation on our Giving Day for Apes platform, we're going to count that towards the chow lunch to see if we can raise enough money to get all of the chow that we're hoping to bring back to the chimps today. Do you think we can do it? Yes. Well, and uh, we're not just buying chow at the country store. We're gonna buy other things. So you'll, you'll see those later. And then the other thing to tell you is we have a donor that's going to match whatever we raise at the conclusion of the shopping spree. So it's whatever absolutely we- absolutely amazing. Yes, whenever we can raise, it's gonna be matched. So keep those donations coming in. So Ali, what are we looking at now? Well, let's go over to one of the aisles over here and yes. see one of the other products that we quite often purchase and give to the chimps. And that is gonna be the bird seed section. So there's um, black oil sunflower seeds here, as well as a nut and berry mix. And what we do with this with the chimps is we scatter it. Uh, so when it's time for the chimps to have like a foraging activity, and if they were in the wild, they would spend 75% of their day foraging for small things around the forest. And we mimic that by scattering seeds like this in the grass and the bushes. It's like a daily Easter egg hunt, uh, but for snacks. And it's really impressive when the chimps find the sunflower seeds because they have prehensile lips, which means they can pop in that sunflower seed and crack it open and get the little seed out while their fingers are busy in the grass looking for more seeds. So this bag of sunflower seed in front of me is $38.99. The nut and berry mixture is just a little bit more than that. So if you're interested in supporting our foraging activity for the chimps, go ahead and follow the link to the Giving Day for Apes platform right now and go ahead and make that $38.99 or just round up to the $39 or $40 mark for the chimps. And we'll know that we're able to secure a fun enrichment activity for many of the chimps one of these bags uh, would last us for a good week for all 99 chimps because they only get small handfuls at a time. We really make them look for it to uh, increase the time that they're spending foraging and finding these fun snacks. Well, I would love to also take some questions as we go along, Holly. So if any yes. of our viewers have questions, then we can certainly uh, bring that in and we can answer as well. No questions yet, but we did just get a donation of $99. So. What? Wow, yes. that's amazing. All right, so that lets me get both the black sunflower seed bag as well as the nut and berry saying, thank you so much, uh, donor, whoever did that. $99 is amazing. It's gonna go a long way for these chimps. 
One of the other items while we're in this aisle, Holly, uh, it's not for the chimps, okay? But stay tuned for this update. We are going for a bag of koi food. Ah. And Why are we doing that, Holly? Because we have koi in our pond, and I have a video showing the koi in our pond, so I'm going to bring that up right now. Fantastic. Here they are, the koi feeding. That was it. <laughs> perfect, very <laughs> short, sweet. That's perfect. So the koi fish actually came with the property back in 2015 when the founders of Project Chimps purchased this location here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We um, acquired this pond and it already had koi fish in it. So of course we weren't going to evict them, which means we had to take care of the koi. And our understanding is that the koi actually got there from the former um, owners of that property that they were considered the unsellable koi. They were considered kind of ugly. Uh, and, and not being able to get the best pricing um, because koi can be a hot commodity. We don't um, encourage that. There are actual adoption programs for koi because they can live to be a hundred years. Holy old. moly. <laughs> there are veterinarians who specialize in koi veterinary medicine. There's cancer treatments you can get for koi with tumors. It is absolutely amazing when you learn about koi. Wow. So even though it is Project Chimps, we take care of the chimps really at our core and our heart. We try to be kind and courteous to all of the creatures that reside on our 230 acres. And that includes this pond full of koi fish. So mm -hmm. we do uh, feed the koi. And if you're interested in helping out with that little side um, species on our property, you can help us purchase this bag of koi. It is also at $40 for this bag. It is a rather expensive product to feed koi fish. Thankfully, our koi also feed off of the natural um, plant life that lives in the pond. So we only have to do supplemental feeding. And a bag like this will actually last us for a full month. Cool. And I know that we take care of the koi well because they're quite big. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, Allie, we have a special guest that has just appeared in our studio. It is Mallory James Mahoney. And Hi! Hi, Mallory. With us online. And she's here to help us promote Giving Day for Apes. Mallory, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Great. Fantastic. We've been having a great day raising money for the 99 chimps that live now here at Project Chimps. It's been looking awesome. And I've loved getting to see around the store and all the things that the chimps like. <laughs> now, Mallory, you, you haven't visited us in a while. It was a couple of years ago that you came out yeah. and, and met the chimps. Do you remember how many we had at that point? Ooh, I, was, I want to say it was probably 56 or so. Probably. I think it was right around there. Okay. Um, we, we've basically doubled. Yeah. It's so <laughs> impressive. I really want to come back and visit again. You absolutely should. Um, it was fun having you. I think the chimps enjoy having, you know, visitors. We're not open uh, every single day like a zoo is, but we absolutely schedule, you know, special arrangements and private tours um, and that any member of the public, you know, can contact us and find out about. What did you think of your visit? I thought it was amazing. It's so cool because it actually, you guys were just releasing um, one of your new groups of chimps into like being outside for the very first time in their lives. And that is just such a special moment to get to see. Uh, it was really fun. I loved it. I think anyone who can should definitely go and try and visit. And you can certainly find that on our website on the visit tab uh, for all those different opportunities or just shoot us an email or give us a call. And watch it on our YouTube channel. We have a video of the the nine males going outside for the first time, which mm -hmm. is really fun. Um, Mallory, I heard that you uh, play a character in a show, Bunked, yes. that um, is about summer camp. Um, I find that, you know, maybe in a loose sort of connection, the, you're playing in a, in a show about summer camps. Project Timps is kind of like a summer camp. You know, yeah, we, have, we have interns, we have chimpcations where people come here on vacation, and we have um, chimps that are always considered to be at a summer camp all the time. You know, exactly. Cool. And yeah, I feel like there's definitely a bit of a connection there. <laughs> And we no. wear these shirts, these matching shirts is kind of like <laughs> summer camp, you know? Yeah, there we go. Plus we're, that's some of the enrichment we're... stuff that you get for the chimps. It's like arts and crafts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is a perfect segue. Uh, do you remember some of the enrichment items that we used back when you visited? Ooh, 
I'm trying to think. I, I think don't... we can get one on screen to jog your memory. Yeah, let me find something. Um. Oh, here's one. Might cover somebody up, but um, here's Hercules <laughs> with oh. his blanket enrichment. Isn't he adorable? So cute. And of course, with blankets comes laundry. So again, I'm going to ping everybody who's watching. We would really appreciate if you could make a contribution of any amount, $5, $9, $10, so that we can clean those blankets and make sure that the chimps have constant access to fresh laundered bedding. <laughs> cool. Um, Kristen, uh, oh, manager oh. of... Um, what are you, Mandra? Public relations. Public and relations. Uh, she's here and she has an announcement. So while you were just talking, either one, Allie Crumpecker has the magic words, two, Mallory has the magic words, or three, everyone thought Hercules was really dang cute, which he is. He is. Uh, we got a donation of $99 and one just came in for $15. So we thank yeah, you guys so much. Oh, another one for $199. Fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. Keep it going. Again, this Power Hour is about how many people we can get donations from. So again, even if you've donated it earlier or you can't donate a lot, every individual donation of $5 or more counts towards the prize money. So even your $5 donation, you know, could help us win $2,500 at the end of this hour at seven o'clock. Mm. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome. So uh, the chow cam is on looking at something in particular, Allie. I'm going to put it on here. Okay. On the chow cam right now, we have Kong. So Mallory, as you and I were talking about just a little bit ago with their enrichment items. I don't know if you recall seeing them with Kongs. I don't think I did. This All is right. interesting. <laughs> so these are uh, your standard dog size Kongs. It's obviously the large ones. Uh, chow cam if you would go up obviously to these little ones this isn't going to be chimp size right that's not really going to work for the chimps but down here in these big classic kongs we can go ahead and fill the inside of this with some peanut butter or applesauce and then throw some of the sunflower seeds that you're helping us purchase in the other aisle and then give it to the chimps as an indoor enrichment item because winter's coming up and they may not really want to go foraging in the ice and snow so giving them some toys that they can forage with is really crucial. And this one right here is $19.99, so it's $20. If you want to help us purchase some of those extra, extra large, double X, uh, Kongs for the chimps, uh, go ahead and throw a $20 donation into the basket right now so that we can get a bunch of Kongs for all of the chimps, make sure that we keep their hands and their minds happy and healthy throughout these winter months. That is so cool. I never knew my dogs and the chimps had the same toys. <laughs> They absolutely can. Uh, we actually received quite a bit of um, dog-based toys, uh, which uh, people send us from our Amazon wish list, or even actually just you know use secondhand from their own dogs if their dogs maybe don't enjoy it as much as they thought they would. Yeah, you can't, you can't return it once it has that tooth mark. Yeah, on. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Another toy that we get for the dogs, and uh, this one is or for the chimps from the dog aisle, is the Jolly Ball. And you can actually get these for horses as well. Um, so they come in very large sizes, but we actually like this size for the chimps because it's a nice handheld and they have hands just like us. So they'll use this uh, kind of like a drum a lot. They'll just play with them. They'll, they'll smack them onto the concrete floor uh, so it reverberates throughout the, the house. They really enjoy these. And it looks like uh, this Kong here is $28. So again, if you want to help us get some enriching toys for the chimps, go ahead and throw that into the cart. And keep in mind, again, we're looking for the number of donors that are interested in supporting the chimps right now. So even down to that 5 or $9 level will help us increase our chances of winning at the end of this power hour. What do we win, Allie? We could win $2,500 which would buy a whole lot of chow. In mm -hmm. fact, we only need $2,000 to buy a bag of chow for each and every chimp right now. Nice. So that's, that is what our goal is. For, so those $9 donations are gonna go towards our chow lunch, right? We've got a chow lunch going. We wanna raise enough money in the next, uh, remaining to seven o'clock, I guess we're at like 40 <laughs> minutes or so left, uh, to get 99 bags of chow. And if Kristen can do some quick math on the side there and let us know how many bags of chow we have achieved so far, we can take yeah, a, a chow count. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll, we're figuring that out right now. Awesome. 
I think we but, just got another donation. I got an We email. got three new donations while you were talking, Allie. Again, I'm telling you, you got the magic word. <laughs> So we got a $9 donation. Keep those coming. Like Allie said, we just need as many of those small donations as possible. And we got a $25 donation. So there's a Kong for you. And then we also got one for $99. Fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. And bigger, big donations, too. It's okay if you can only donate just a little bit, too. It'll count towards our goal. Now, Mallory, I'm a huge coffee fan. I understand that you also enjoy coffee. Yeah, I like I like a nice little mocha, like chocolatey coffee. It's always okay. tasty. <laughs> I go for a macchiato, uh, you know, nice. with some non non dairy creamer in that. Um, but you know, the price of coffee has kind of gone up, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but if I wanted to donate nine dollars right now to the chimps, I'd only have to skip two cups of coffee this week to give my nine dollars of my coffee allowance to the chimps and make sure that they have food for a whole week. So two cups of coffee, skipping. They get their chow. Can't really argue that one, right? I feel like it's a worthy trade, yeah. <laughs> I think I can get my caffeine from a different source. <laughs> so Mallory, when you were out, uh, do you remember any of the chimps uh, specifically that you got to see? Ooh, it was one of the ones, I believe it was an all girls group uh, okay. at the time. Yeah. <sighs> It would have, it would have been uh, Lindsay and Anna. Yes. Yeah. So it was their group. Um, okay. It had Rosemary. How many? Yeah. Oh, how many can I name off the top of my head? That, <laughs> that one group. <laughs> uh, Cassie, Ariel. Ooh. Um, I'll have, we might have to come back to this. It, <laughs> with with ninety nine chimps to keep track of, keeping track of uh, where everyone lives with whom is very complicated. I'm already impressed by how many <laughs> so far. But of that group that you met, um, Lindsay uh, lately has been a fantastic caregiving chimp. She's definitely stepped up kind of as the, the mother hen, if you will, of the chimp world, if you want to start okay. mixing species in our metaphors. Yeah. When anyone, uh, you know, maybe has their feelings hurt or gets a, a, a scratch on them, uh, Lindsay is like always there to give them a hug and reassurance, extra grooming. Oh, uh, that's so amazing. Baby. It's a really special chimp in that group. That's so sweet. Uh, we're only just getting to know the newest females. We introduced them earlier today in our 1 p.m. live stream that we did. Uh, folks, if you missed that, you can go back um, to either our Facebook or our YouTube page and, and just scroll back and see that earlier live feed. But um, they arrived back in June. And uh, Kate and Dawn are kind of like the, the Lindsays of that group. But we are still getting to know them and, and seeing their personality come out. Got a donation update. So we just got one for 25 and one for 10. Keep those, keep those coming, guys. Come on, 25 and 10. We can do that. We can That's do awesome. nine, nine, nine. Let's go. <laughs> hey, um, I just got a question how to donate. So the link is always at the bottom ticking by. And there's also, I just put the link bigger right above it. So if, if you go to that uh, website, there's, you can donate directly there. Um, if you don't, because you can't click on it. Um, if you go to our social media, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or go to um, Giving Day for Apes and Find Project Chimps, you'll be able to donate that way too. We have our links everywhere. <laughs> And thank you for asking how to donate, because that means that you are about to, and we love that. <laughs> we just got another one for 25. Let's go. Fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. Actually, you know what? We can check in right now and see how we're doing in this power hour. Mm -hmm. so let me get to my system. Holly, do you want to um, pull up a chimp video while we're checking all these statistics? Sure. <laughs> I'll pull up some chimp videos. Let's find exactly. something fun. How about... How about Jermaine eating a pear? Let's show okay. that. <laughs> cool. That was Jermaine eating a pear. And so wasn't cute. he eating the pear? They do eat the seeds and the stem and all of that jazz. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that the same with bananas? Do they eat the peel? 
most of the chimps do actually eat the peel. Some of them actually eat it whole, like, you know, they just eat it like a sandwich. Um, others will peel it and they'll either, like an Oreo cookie, eat the inside first and then the outside last or vice versa. Funny. Cool. Oh, we just got another donation. $49. Yay. Thank you, guys. On the uh, leaderboard here, on the most donors, it uh, looks like our friends at Center for Great Apes are crushing the competition. Um, we are very much applauding their efforts this year because they did suffer some significant damage in Hurricane Ian just a couple weeks ago. Um, so if you're contributing to them, you know, good for you. Uh, but don't forget about Project Chimps as well. Uh, we still need the donations here as well. So hopefully if you can cut out four cups of coffee, you can donate to them and us as well. So Mallory, when do you think you might be back? In the in the fall, in the summer, in the spring? What, what kind of season are you looking for? Um, I'd be I'd be happy with anything. I mean, I know you guys get some snow up there in the winter, so I think it'd be fun. I yes. I'm, I'm in Texas, and then I live the rest of my time in LA, so I never see the snow, and it's one of my favorite things. Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, we get a lot of questions about how the chimps react to snow. Oh, because really? Chimps don't have snow in the wild where they live. Yeah. But these chimps have never lived in the wild, right? They're what we would call third generation Americans. Um, they've uh, unfortunately always been born in labs. Their parents have been born in labs. Um, maybe their grandparents were uh, from the wild back in the day. But for these folks uh, that we work with, some of them have lived in states with snow, like upstate New York. Um, but many of them uh, have spent most of their time in Louisiana, where there's also no snow. So yeah. their, first, their first winter, uh, so these 19 chimps, this will be their first winter. And we're gonna be very careful with them when the snow comes. Our staff will actually make snowmen and bring it inside for the chimps to play with while it melts. And that's how like they get to experience snow for the first time. So they kind of understand what it feels like and what it does when they touch it. And then we'll let them go out and play in it. That oh is God. so cool. That is so cool. Hey, I have a video of Rocco eating peanuts in the snow. You wanna see it? Yeah. Okay. want to see that again <laughs> i mean i wouldn't mind i love watching them eat <laughs> they are so adorable mallory what have you been up to this fall um this fall i actually just wrapped recently on my season of bunked um we just finished up season six so i have i'm back in texas right now i've been home for just like a week and a half or so um, not much time, but it's nice to be home for a little bit and get to spend the holidays with my family and hopefully be back out there. Awesome. And, and how, how do you directly see Bunked compared to Project Chimps with Summer Camp theme here? I mean, I feel like there's definitely quite a few comparisons, you know, it's like the camp, like, I mean, our show, we're at like camp all the time, it seems mm -hmm. like. Just like the chimps are basically at a summer camp all the time, hanging out with all their friends. <laughs> That's right. And there's probably the same amount of drama because you guys made a whole TV show about it. <laughs> be like, you know, just making videos and seeing their drama. I, I understand. We talked about chimp politics earlier mm -hmm. and being socially savvy. I'm sure you have to do that um, at summer camp. <laughs> yeah. Cool. At least summer camps where we get into so much trouble at ours all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Kristen has an announcement. Okay, so I was running some math. It took me longer. I'm a little embarrassed to say how long it took me to do simple math. But uh, we have racked up around 37 bags of chow with these donations so far. Thank you so much. And we just got a $250 donation while that's I was standing awesome. here talking to y'all. So that's just incredible. We got a $150 right before I started talking. Um, you guys are really showing up and showing out. Thank you so much. Keep it coming. 
And I can see right now we are at a total of $955 for this hour. So we are nearing the 1000 mark. That is halfway towards our goal of being able to buy the 99 bags of chow. So hopefully yeah. some of you are, are getting ready to submit that donation and help get us across that 50% line, right? Yeah, so that pallet of chow we saw outside earlier, that's about half as that's about as much as you've donated so far. We just need yeah. one more pallet. We'll go back out to this pallet so anyone who uh, is just sure. now seeing us can get into that. So this is a whole pallet of Missouri brand um, chimp chow. Now on the label it says primate diets, um, but this is formulated specifically for grade apes, like you can see on the packaging. Oh, cool. And Missouri is is a company that specifically makes formulated nutritional biscuits for all different types of uh, species that you might find at zoos and sanctuaries. So they're a really awesome company. Um, they've got nutritionists on staff that we can call at any time because there's actually different versions of chimp chow. There's about four or five different formulas. So again, if we have somebody who might be pre-diabetic or who needs a bit of a weight loss plan, uh, we can get special chimp chow to make sure that everyone's getting the correct nutritional content. Now, Mallory, in Bunked, um, do you get to eat real food on set? We used to. Um, <laughs> the last two years, because of COVID, we haven't been able to eat it. But that's, I mean, that's some of our favorite scenes is when you get to just sit there and eat or sit there and sleep for the whole scene. It's definitely <laughs> bird blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And is there a, a, a chef on the show um, you know, this kind of like planning out the menu for the campers and such. We have had a character. His name was Chef Jeff. Um, I wouldn't recommend him to anyone else, but he was an interesting chef. <laughs> <laughs> we have here at Project Champs a nutrition committee. So while it's not a chef, it's somebody who goes through and does all of the math for the calories um, and the weight plans and the medical needs of the chimps and making sure that we're giving them the right nutritional balance of not only their primary meals, which they get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, but then also those uh, foraging snacks like we did earlier um, with the sunflower seeds and the, the nut mixtures and such. Um, we also use special treats like dates and figs, pistachios, things that we would call high value motivating treats, right? Like for you or me, it might be ice cream. Um, at least for me, it would be ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> So if you wanted, you know, if you needed to do something extra special and you needed a little bit of extra motivation and you knew you were going to get ice cream afterwards, then you might be motivated to go do it. Absolutely. Yeah. So for the chimps, they they know that if they're being asked to participate in, say, a medical exam by our veterinary staff, and that could be as simple as like opening their mouth so that we can look at their teeth and make sure, you know, that all their dental work is good or presenting their um, chest so that we can listen with a stethoscope to their heartbeat. So, you know, we can't take the chimps to a doctor and ha ask them to sit on the table. <laughs> so we do have to motivate them to cooperate with these physical exams. And we'll do that with special training treats. So sunflower seeds that you see on the screen is something they might get on a regular basis, but then dates and figs, pistachios, um, walnuts are, are really good treats. Uh, even frozen grapes are really motivating for some of the chimps. Oh, wow. Do, yeah. Is there a specific treat that you say you think is like a favorite among all the chimps? Uh, the dates, raisins, and and grapes, that, that kind of genre of snacks yeah. is definitely um, good for them. Now, I can't imagine those of us that uh, might have to take a child to the doctor and you said that you're going to get a bowl <laughs> of grapes and not a lollipop after you see the doctor, if that would work as well. <laughs> but maybe, maybe a grape flavored lollipop. Mm. Maybe that would work, yeah. <laughs> I have a video of Loretta and Harley eating fruit nuts. So let's watch that. Okay. Not sure what kind of nuts they are, but let's try to figure it out. <laughs> Great. And that was walnuts, it looked like, in their hand. So we do give them the walnuts in the shell. Okay. And that's, that's part of their activity. That's part of their um, mind work, right? How do I get into this tasty treat? Do I just bunch, you know, bite down on it with my teeth? Uh, do I take a rock and crack it? Do I take two walnuts and squeeze them together in my hand till they pop? Do you have a method Very of uh, cracking nuts? Um, I mean, we have like tools to do it. <laughs> Jim's got to figure it out for themselves. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't really give them a nutcracker. Yeah. Okay, guys, sorry. We just got a $49 donation. Thank you so much. Fantastic, y'all. That's awesome. Uh, what, how many chat, uh, chow bags do we have now? Okay, let's see. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to stretch your math skills again. Yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Hold on. Mallory, um, in the meantime, uh, can you can you give us any spoiler alerts for what you guys shot uh, this fall season for Bunked? Oh, season six is pretty intense. Um, we I think some of my favorite ones that we've gotten to do is um, my character is an ex pageant girl, so she used to do lots of pageants. And I think whenever we do a pageant episode, it's so much fun because I my character gets so intense. She's so into it pageants are her everything. She's very competitive. So I love getting to play that really competitive side. We had a pageant episode this year and it was really fun. That's interesting because I could say one of our chimps, um, well, maybe two of our chimps, uh, Peniel and Naya like to wear blankets. So I could see them as dressing up for a pageant, you know, the way they like move across the sanctuary wearing this blanket. Oh, yeah. that is so cute. They definitely turn them into capes, sometimes a flowing gown. A flowing <laughs> gown instead of a cape, perhaps. <laughs> we need we need a cheap fashion show now. <laughs> oh, wow, we got another donation. So this was a big one. Um, and I'm not even mad that I have to redo my math because it was $953. Thank what? you so much. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. So did that get us to the $2,000 mark then for the hour? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. That is And awesome. another one for $99. You guys, you are blowing me away. This is so exciting. This is so cool. All right, we'll let you do your chow math. Um, <laughs> if you want to bring the, uh, the chow cam back on, we'll talk about another toy that's here at the store. So again, so again right. Hold on, got feedback. <laughs> We're at the uh, Cahutta Country Store in Blue Ridge, Georgia, where we purchase our chimp chow and some other items for the chimps. And right now you're looking at a mammoth tire biter. So it is a extra hard rubber toy that looks like a tire. And again, with the chimps, we'll actually um, smear goop. Uh, goop might be jelly, applesauce, peanut butter, etc., inside this tire and then maybe stick some of those um, sunflower seeds in there as well. And then we'll hide them in the habitat because this is nice and you know dark and you can uh, slip it onto a branch of a tree, maybe encourage a little tree climbing and then they'll find it and they'll have this you know, ooey gooey yummy reward for doing that hide and seek activity they didn't even know that they were trying to do. That's so, so cool. These toys uh, are $16.99. If you're interested in helping us acquire some new ones for the chimps, go ahead and make a $17 donation. We'll know that it's specifically for this tire toy. Awesome. Uh, we have the math from Kristen. So, so far we have gotten $2,147. Fantastic. That is just amazing and it has exceeded our expectations already. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you feel like it, keep it coming. We can still do better. Yeah, we are a little bit past our halfway mark in all of our hour and already at our goal for the initial shopping trip for those 99 bags of chimp chow for the 99 deserving chimps at Project Chimps that are retired from medical research. Holly, I would like to um, make sure that our audience members know that they can submit questions at any time um, for myself, for Mallory, for you, yeah. for Kristen off screen. We don't have any questions, but we have some shout outs for Mallory. So Kelly Crawford says, hi, Mallory. So nice to see you. Thank you for supporting the chimps. And then we have a couple other comments from B Hart. Uh, glad to donate to this great organization. I remember when I first heard that Congress was banning using chimps and I wondered what would happen to them. I was so happy to learn about Project chimps. I love how you all take such great care of the chimps and make sure they have a happy, healthy retirement. Aww. 
we're happy to give them a happy, healthy retirement. And we can only do that because of all of your generous donations and support. We are completely privately funded as a nonprofit. We do not receive um, tax support or government support uh, the way some of the other CHAMPs who are part of the NIH program might. These are all CHAMPs that came from a privately owned uh, lab facility and now they're at a private nonprofit. So we can only do the work that we do and can provide the exemplary care for these chimpanzees because of your ongoing support that you're doing right now today in Giving Day for Apes with your $9 or $99 donation. Um, but you can also come and visit like we talked about earlier and we'll, we'll talk about that again in a bit in case you're just tuned in. But there's also ways of sponsoring a chimp. You can take the personality quiz online and find like your soul chimp uh, that you might really resignate with mm -hmm. and uh, become a, a sponsor. And you'll get updates about them that will email you. You'll get an adoption certificate with a photo um, for your first uh, time around. And you can pick any of the 99 chimps that we have in Sanctuary for that program. So Mallory, for anyone who, who joined us late into the show, let's go back to when you visited, right? A couple of years ago and you got to see the chimps go out for the first time. Um, would you say that our facility maybe reminded you of a very popular dinosaur movie? <laughs> um, I guess I could see that. I mean, I don't think any of the chimps are breaking out and attacking people. That's for no, sure. We're definitely not doing that, but we <laughs> definitely have a giant concrete wall with giant metal doors in them. And we do actually refer to them as the Jurassic Park doors, <laughs> because <laughs> that is everyone's first impression when they see those uh, monstrous uh, doors. The chimps have a six acre forested habitat but it is surrounded by a 14 foot concrete wall to make sure that they stay safe as well as the community that we happen to be in. So when, you're, when you come for a visit, uh, Mallory, if you recall, you're walking around like on a gravel road and yeah. then there's windows in the walls. And do you remember like how you can look into those windows? Yeah. Describe what you saw. Um, you kind of see like all these different like enclosures and um there's like some of the outdoor areas as well as like the indoor areas that you could see the chimps in too which is really cool yeah since you've been out we've um added a bunch of termite mounds oh really so we call them termite mounds but there's no termites in them okay <laughs> so it's a little confusing uh but it's more about the activity way 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 back when jane goodall was first studying wild chimpanzees she was the first one to notice that they used tools to fish for termites out of termite mounds. And in Africa, the termites there actually literally build mounds. So we kind of mimic that with uh, metal and concrete. And there are PVC tubes on the inside of these termite mounds where our staff can put more goop. And again, that goop, like we talked about earlier, can be applesauce, jelly, peanut butter, et cetera. And it'll naturally attract the wild insects to go down into those tubes. So when the chimps get a chance to go fish in them, you know, they break off a branch from a tree and then they'll, they'll, they'll go around, they'll actually smell the tubes down because they know we put different stuff in and they might want a certain flavor. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll stick their, their branch down into that tube and fish out some of the goop and maybe a crunchy insect on the end of it. Wow, that's so cool. It's a really fun activity, watch them do that. Okay guys, so I have a couple more updates. Um, we got a very generous donation of 150 and two donations just came in each for $99. Thank you so much. I also have an update from our manager of philanthropy, Chris Johns. She wanted me to let everyone know that Save the Chimps has just raised $99,406. And why does 99 ring a bell? Because we have 99 chimps at Project Chimps. And our campaign this year is dedicated to that number, 99. It's very special special to us. It's a milestone. Um, and our kind of theme song this year is Toto's 99. Don't know if y'all have heard the song, but you really should give it a listen. It's really resonant with our message this year. Um, and just going off of that, we're almost at $74,000. We are so close to our goal of 99,000. Keep giving. Um, we are we are so close. We are 70% of the way there. We can do this. Uh, so just keep those donations coming. And thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen, for that update. You guys have been amazing today. We know that it is a long day of uh, talking to you about how much it costs for the chimps. But, you know, the rest of the time we talk about how much fun it is, right, to, to take care of the chimps. So we can only take care of them with your support. So it's really critical that 
you know, if, if you're able to make a contribution today that you do that, if you can't do it today, then make sure you follow us, you like all of our pages, and then maybe sometime down the road when you can donate, you can, you know, circle back and make that contribution later. But by all means, like talk about the chimps, share their stories, share their messaging. We want to make sure that they're not forgotten. You know, the, the laws changed a long time ago. They, they're out of research um, and it's great that they get to live their life in sanctuary, but we still need to make sure that that life in sanctuary continues to be amazing. Mm -hmm. We have chimps ranging in age from 11 to 42. Mallory, I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you remember how long chimps can live? Um, like over a hundred years, right? That would be amazing. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it? Uh, it is at an average of 50 to 60. Oh, okay. Okay. But the chimps that we're taking care of, unfortunately, many of them were used in a lot of medical testing. So our older chimps, unfortunately, their bodies have been compromised with all that testing. So they may not live as long as we would hope, but our younger ones, the ones that we got out of the lab before, or, you know, after testing ended, but before they were ever used in testing, um, they could live into their fifties and sixties. And again, I've got 11 year olds. So that's 40 plus more years that we have to make sure that we are continuing to raise the funds to provide them the nutritious chow, the enriching toys, that forested outdoor habitat with beautiful maintained uh, fake termite mounds. <laughs> so with your contributions, we can keep doing that uh, mission of providing them exemplary lifetime care. So not just this year, but lifetime care. Absolutely. We've got some, a few questions from people Fantastic. that have tuned in. Um, when is the next opportunity for the public to tour Project Champs? That's a great question. I'm actually going to throw it to Kristen, if she doesn't mind, to talk about Chimp or Treat. I would lo I love nothing more than talking about Chimp or Treat because I have never been to one at Project Chimps before, but it is something that our whole community in North Georgia talks about because where else on earth can you go trick-or-treating surrounded by chimpanzees. Um, I can't think of another place. I can't think of a cooler thing to do. Um, so tickets are $10 and that $10 uh, gets a kid in and that kid's accompanying adult. Uh, anything other than that for adults is $35. Um, and what that gets you is a, a roundabout tour of the sanctuary. You get a walk all around it and the chimps line up in their windows just to see you walk by in your costume. They look forward to it. It's like Christmas Day to them. Um, and it's something they look forward to all year. Um, that being said, we're going to have treats to hand out to the kids. Um, and then we also have trinkets to hand out. Um, it's part of the Teal Pumpkin Project. So everyone can feel included and celebrated. Um, it's just all around a really, really good time. It's going to be October 29th and 30th. So if you're in the area or if you want a reason to come see beautiful North Georgia in the fall, uh, you should definitely come over and check us out. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, I love Chimp Retreat. It's one of my favorite activities that we do at Project Chimps. Mallory, are you dressing up for um, uh, Halloween this year? Yeah. I am. I'm dressing up with my best friend. We're going as two characters from Gossip Girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Awesome. I wish we could go to Chimp Retreat, though. That sounds awesome. You should come out. I would love to. It'd be so much fun. Mallory, it's we have a question. How did you find out about Project Champs? I actually found out about it um, through my friend Bryce, who has also worked a lot with your organization. And he was telling me about it. And he was the one who I came and visited and got to meet everyone and see all the chimps with. Cool. Well, thank you, Bryce, for letting Mallory know. Um, we've got a couple other um, shout outs for Mallory. Um, Mallory, this is from Katie Conley, Conley Griffin. Mallory, thank you so very much for helping the chimps at Project Chimps. You are a chimp champion and <laughs> my 13 year old daughter is a major fan too. You a great, you're a great role model. So thankful for everyone at Project Chimps and all you do every day. They're amazing. It's pretty cool. Oh, I have another question. Um, do the chimps wake up at the same time or do they, or do some sleep in? Oh, that is a great question. Oh, it is loud over there. 
um, <laughs> they would, some of them actually sleep in. Uh, most of them do wake up because it's breakfast time. And I don't know any chimp that wants to miss their meals. <laughs> yeah. What time do they wake up at? What time is breakfast time for them? Uh, we get things kind of moving at 830 in the morning. Um, and there's definitely some of the, the eager chimps that are right up front and want their food first thing. Others are kind of checking out what the staff are doing. What are they wearing today? Because we were just talking about Halloween costumes. We actually have a dress up day every single month where the chimps staff, the care staff, wear costumes to work. Really? Just to make it different and weird and exciting for the chimps and make the chimps go, what on earth is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So we have a whole box of like donated um, costumes that have come from uh, adults. You know, we need adult sized costumes uh, for our, our, our care staff, but we uh, have received costumes donated from the local uh, community theaters when they don't need them anymore. And that way our staff always have an ongoing supply of costumes to wear to entertain the chimps on costume day. That is so cool. Um, small update, you guys, or no update is small here because you're all insanely amazing. Uh, but we just got two more donations, one for $99 and one for $49. Thank you guys so much. This is so exciting. That's awesome. I can see a tally here that we have raised over $2,500 in this uh, last 44, 46 minutes that we've been doing this broadcast. Wow. So that has that is exceeded our goal. We'll be able to buy more than 99 uh, bags of Chim Chow. Definitely get some of those Kongs and the bags of seed we talk about. What we haven't talked about yet is bedding. So I know, Holly, uh, earlier you showed a picture of um, Hercules in a bed of blankets, and we talked about laundry. But not all the chimps like blankets. We actually will also use um, some hay product, and there are some bales of hay that are available for sale here at the Cahada Country Store in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Uh, and those right now, it's they're kind of expensive. Hay has had a hard time the last couple of years uh, growing uh, properly. So supply is uh, limited and demand is high. So each bale of hay is $13. And it's not like bedding that we can throw on the laundry and wash. It's kind of a one-time use <laughs> and then we got to throw it away. So uh, we do give the hay to the chimps that seem to prefer that as their bedding and then blankets to the ones that prefer that style and some other items depending on what they use for nesting. But if you're interested in helping us make sure that they have some available hay to refurnish uh, the bedding for the chimps, that's $13. Go ahead and make that donation um, on the Giving Day for Apes platform at any time uh, during this broadcast or after we wrap. And we'll know that that is for us to purchase a bale of hay for $13. Now, which one would you say is most popular? Like blankets? Mm. It honestly depends on the chimps. So again, we talked about like, you know, Panyal and Naya are never without a blanket. They absolutely love blankets, but it's more than yeah. bed for them, right? It's like their, their comfort, um, almost like the Linus character in, in Charlie Brown. Absolutely. Um, I personally probably, you know, would choose blankets. I don't know about you. Uh, maybe you choose hay, but. I think I'd go with blankets too, but <laughs> to each his own. Exactly. We also use a product called wood wool and wood wool, we actually get donated um, in the season, in the summer season. We don't get it donated in the winter because it is a packing supply for a landscape warehouse that sells garden statues. So it's like the material that protects the statues when they ship them. Okay. And they would have to throw it away. They'd actually have to pay to get rid of the sh uh, shipping product. And instead we pick it up as a, as a donation to the chimps. And a lot of the chimps really like that. It, it has a look to it. It looks like hay, but it's um, sturdier. So okay. It's a, a more dense feeling to it. Wow, that's interesting. So, uh, Holly, would you mind showing us another video of a chimp? Sure. I don't have any with the hay, though, or the wood wool, but I will show you something. Just give me a moment here. I do have some photos I want to show of the different enrichment we give the chimps, and then I'll show you a video. So okay. here cool. we have volunteer Beverly um uh giving some enrichment in uh bottles and we take boat donation of uh uh washed uh water bottles so because uh, we use those a lot for the chimps uh to for them to get their enrichment through and then um we we have some halloween themed enrichment right here uh, chimps love pumpkins and when we cut them into shapes of jack-o-lanterns it's even better 
and it's that time of year so halloweeny time is coming up and um Absolutely. yep chimp or treat and then we have um another um volunteer nancy she's preparing enrichment in our uh, kitchen that was uh, donated by Rachel Ray. So here is um, the volunteers at work busy getting enrichment ready. And they are volunteers are so enthusiastic and great mm. about putting together enrichment because there are 99 chimps and that's a lot of enrichment. Mm -hmm. So let me find a video to watch next. Hold on. Um, let's have, uh, how about Patrick eating lettuce? All right. <laughs> hey. I, I don't eat my salads that way. I, I prefer them, you know, yeah. chopped and made in a bowl, maybe with some dressing drizzled over them. Definitely using a fork. <laughs> I think you have to really be in the mood for some lettuce to just eat it like <laughs> You've got a Patrick moral was of veggies. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to give an update on our overall goal and where we are into reaching that. So we are now at $81,900. Uh, how incredible is that? What a journey we've been on. And today you guys have just, you've really, really blown it out of the water. So, so thank you again. Can't say thank you enough. Um, keep them coming. Just thank you so much. That is absolutely amazing, guys. We're at 83% of our goal, and we go all the way till midnight. So I think we are well on our way to achieving that. But I won't be able to go to sleep unless I know that we have raised enough funds to take care of these 99 chimps. So please don't wait till midnight. You only have, uh, let's see, eight minutes left on this live broadcast to ask us any questions or to give uh, Mallory a shout out. Um, or to make that donation so that we can count it right here on the screen. But by all means, if you can't do that right now, because for some reason you're not near your credit card or your bank account, um, then just come back before midnight tonight and help us with this competition to raise as much money as we can for the 99 champs on Giving Day for Apes. We're going for $99,000 to provide lifetime exemplary care to these chimpanzees. And we can make it because guess what, Allie? What? We have a ten thousand dollar match the Boys. last match is gonna happen um so thank you for whoever the big donor was for the ten thousand dollar match but we can get to that ninety nine thousand if you guys just keep it coming after this power hour so that means if i give up my two cups of macchiato this week right and i can donate <laughs> the nine dollars then help me with that math Kristen. Uh, your math wizard here my nine dollars wow. what Wait, one more time. You got to say it one more time. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. My $9 gets doubled, right? Yeah. $9 get doubled. So it becomes $18? $18. That's it. I went to school and everything. Wait, wait. Um, I have one more announcement. So we got a $49 donation. Thank you so much. And then we're really close to wrapping things up with a $500 donation that just came in. Wow. Thank you. Thank, wow. you. thank you. This is so exciting. I'm getting the grand total for this hour right now. Uh, we still have seven minutes though. So if you want to help us finish strong, donate, donate, donate. Yeah, I can see uh, Kristen on the power hour board that we have raised $3,101. Dollars oh, uh, in this in this uh, last fifty three minutes and fifty five seconds of this broadcast. So <laughs> at six minutes left. I don't know where we can get to. Maybe we can get to thirty two hundred. Can we get ninety nine more dollars? Because that is the theme of today's event. Oh, there we go. Can we get yep. ninety nine dollars? So another ninety nine dollar donation. Can we squeeze that in before we hit the seven p.m. If you're a fast typer, you could probably pull up the form right now if you don't already have it open. Oh. And 
plug your digits in if your computer doesn't have them memorized. Uh, <laughs> get that donation in before the deadline here at 7 p.m. so we can hit the $3,200 mark with one more $99 donation. And again, if 99 is out of your budget, then just do a $5 donation, do a $9 donation, do what you can mm -hmm. for the chimpanzees. And if you can't even do the $5, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram. If you've got an account on LinkedIn, go ahead and you know join our community there. And then just follow the amazing posts that Holly, right here on your screen, is responsible for putting up on all those channels. Uh, she'd welcome your feedback if you want to see more of something or another. Um, we've actually taken some feedback on our videos recently, and we're going to be starting to post some native documentary style because we can't live stream um, all the time from the chimps. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the internet there quite yet. We're, we're waiting on uh, Elon Musk to come through with Starlink. <laughs> It is true, <laughs> but uh, we are going to throw some unedited and unscripted uh, just live stream documentary style films on our YouTube channel in the near future here. So if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and do that. And if there's other content you want to see, then just shoot us a private message on your favorite social channel. And we'll be sure to start talking about getting that into the queue. Yeah, I control the camera. So hit me up on what you want to see. Um, I have another question uh, from Lynn. Uh, do the chimps like onions? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So guys, my, my personal office where I sit is right above the kitchen. And I know that it's onion day because the volunteers are amazing. Volunteers have to cut up 99 onions on onion day in order to feed the 99 chimps. So everyone gets their own onion, but they get them chopped up because it's part of the scatter. And I'll be sitting there and just start feeling like I want to cry. And there's really no reason that I should really want to cry. And then I realize, oh, no, it's it's onion chopping day downstairs. In the <laughs> <below me. laughs> I feel like all, all volunteers need like goggles or something. Yeah. I Allie's, think have, good. Allie's come to meetings crying and we're like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She says, it's onion day. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Because the chimps love the onions so much, onions are, are on the menu two to three times a week. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kristen has more. So you guys are just, again, wow, wow, wow. We got a $49 donation and then a $99 donation. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. We just surpassed that $3,200 mark really okay. easy. So you guys have some fast fingers getting those digits into those forms before we hit the seven o'clock hour. We have less than three minutes left. Are there any last minute questions or thoughts that we want to take from an audience member? Um. Fainting Girl asks Mallory or tells Mallory that you should make an episode where you have a chimp on Bunked to be your new camper. Oh, I think that would be very interesting. I mean, my camper I have this year is already pretty crazy. So I feel like. <laughs> Now we, we have offered um, a lot of photos and videos of our chimps for CGI artists to make chimpanzee characters for movies oh. and TV shows because we certainly would not support them going on set. That That's very um, outdated methodology. So uh, if there's any producers out there that want to make that come to life with a chimpanzee camper and bunked, um, you can send your videographers out to start working on the CGI character. <laughs> yeah, the technology is out there for that to make ha happen. So absolutely, they can duplicate Tom Cruise. So you know, you can <laughs> duplicate <laughs> Danielle in her blanket. So yeah. Well, Mallory, it's been amazing having you on. I do hope that you uh, can work it into your very busy schedule to come on out and see the chimps again. Now that there's I love it. Quite as many as last time. <laughs> Maybe you can come in the snow since you want to see the snow as well. Yes. Thank you. Holly thank you. and uh, Kristen, thank you for keeping track of all of the donations throughout this hour. We are about to close out. So Kristen, will bring it back to you in like 30 more seconds to give us one final number. If anyone's getting their digits plugged in right this second. I want to give a thank you to everyone who's been donating all day long to our amazing um, match uh, supporter. I know that you are anonymous, so we can't say your name on camera, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, because of uh, you, you know, a lot of other folks stepped up and, and gave a little bit more than maybe they would have knowing that their contribution was going to be doubled. Um, so again, for that skipping my, my coffee this week, you know, I can make my contributions uh, and that's gonna go twice as far for the chimps. I hope you guys can too. Go to projectchimps.org slash um, 
donate and find the information to jump right there for Giving Day for Apes. Again, we go straight to midnight. So Kristen, we're in the last 30 seconds of this broadcast. Where are we at for our grand total? So, so far I have calculated $3,340 worth of goodies. And if you compare that to the price of chow, if we spend it all on chow, we could buy 167 bags. Wow. And that's being doubled. <laughs> and that's being doubled. That is right. Wow. That's what we started out at the beginning, that whatever we were able to close out at 7 p.m. was going to be doubled by our shopping cart donor. Uh, so again, anonymous person, whoever you are, uh, we really appreciate you stepping up to the plate and doing that as well. So thank you all. We're going to be closing out now, but you can watch this back from the beginning and we'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Bye. 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 Bye.